Hello everyone, and welcome to another Roblox game development tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to go over variables. Now, variables, well, I guess I shouldn't get too into it just yet. Let's first go to our script. Now, variables are a lot like what their name implies. They're values that can vary. Now, in your math, in your algebra class, you've probably gone over variables such as graphing y equals mx plus b. Well, all of those letters are variables, and they represent numbers that change every time you go through it for a different point on a line graph, or not a line graph, um, a coordinate plane. Correct. So, variables in scripting work a lot like that. <clears throat> you will give them a name and an initial value. Well, you don't have to give them an initial value, but you can, and it's common. You will give them an initial value, and then anywhere in the script, you can change their value. It's a lot like properties, which properties are really just built-in variables that can be accessed much easier. But it's a lot like properties, and only it's in script, and nobody else can really touch them. So let's make a variable. To declare a variable in Roblox Lua, uh, there's a lot of ways you can do it. But we're going to go with the common way, and I think it's actually the right way uh, if you could call it a right way it's not the only way we'll do it in this series and for once I'm not going to show you two ways to do it at least not yet so we'll name it or well first you type local and you see it got highlighted blue because it's a keyword in Roblox Lua and local means local variable it just declares a variable tells Lua I'm going to declare a variable. So local and then we can name our variable. Now variable names do have some rules kind of like your name has rules. Your name every first letter, or letter in the different parts of your name is usually capitalized. There's usually not numbers in your name and there's usually not spaces in between two parts of your name. Well, the name, the naming um, rules for variables are a little different. First off, they cannot start with a number, but they can have a number anywhere else. They can, they can have capital and lowercase letters anywhere. Uh, they can, not can't. They can have capital and lowercase letters anywhere. And they cannot have spaces, but they can have underscores. They cannot have dashes, nor can they have any special characters. So I'm going to go through a couple names we could work with to display some of the rules. Now, like I said, we couldn't name a variable 1. And we also couldn't name a variable 1, 1, like that, or 11. What we could do is 1, 1. Why can we not use the number one or a number first? Well, because numbers are typically um, values, in, in number values, which are interpreted that way. But if you start with a letter, Lua can read it easier. You can use underscores, and even though I don't use underscores very much, but and don't quote me when I say you can start a variable name with an underscore. If you can't, we'll figure it out in a minute and then we found out the hard way or we found out I was right. But first we'll just keep going through. So we can name it one two or we can name it one two or we can even name it one two. whatever the heck this is that's a ver valid name you don't want a very long variable name because it's I, I'll explain the idea for variables in a minute 
Now, even if we had one and a typical name, we could not put any of these. Ah, shoot, not those numbers. Those numbers are okay. We could not put any of these kinds of things in there. Why? Because those are often used in scripting. Special characters like that are often used in scripting as like keyword modifiers, almost keyword ish, even though they're not words. So now we'll get back to naming our first variable. We'll name it var. And we'll, in local var, now how do you give, we want to give our variable a value to start off with, which is called an initial value. How do we do that? So you press an equal sign, and then you put in your value. Uh, for this, we'll just use one. So in math, when you get to the end of, a, or in algebra, when you get to the end of a question, you could put, uh, depending on the problem, you might put x equals 2 or something. Well, when you put that, you're saying that the variable x's value is 2 in the given equation. Well, here we're doing something similar by making our variable and then saying its value is equal to 1. Or if the va variable is equal to its value, which is 1. Now, I'm not going to go over changing variables, and I'm not even going to go over any other variable types. Uh, that'll be next tutorial. But why would you use variables? That's a big question on some of your minds, I'm sure. Well, a lot of you probably hate algebra. And a lot of you hate the fact that they put letters into math. Well, the reason we use variables in scripting is because when you have variables in scripting, um, you can, it makes it easier if you ever are making a game or something, and you have a speed variable, or a variable that affects a lot of different places in your game, but you don't want, and then when you're debugging, you find out, oh, maybe it would be better if I changed this variable and made the game a little faster or something. Well, you wouldn't want to have to remember every place that you use that number for that purpose. You'd want one place where you change it one time, and the entire script is changed to work for it. That's, that's how variables are useful. There's a lot of other ways, but for right now, that's what I'll leave you with. So, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or dislike button. Correspond now you felt about this video, and I will catch you guys later.